Well, welcome back, guys. Welcome back. We appreciate you guys coming back and watching our videos. And um, um, wow, what what a freaking week we have had. Seriously, what a week. Um, uh, we had a hurricane come through here, and uh, it's just uh, put everything like upside down. So um, we didn't get a lot of damage here, which is where we're very, very fortunate. I had one of my big daddy oak trees come down, which I'm still aggravated at. Um, I really take a lot of pride in oak trees and that kind of stuff and, um, you know, the place out here. And uh, the, the wind did blow one of them down. But other than that, we had no damage at all. A uh, lot of debris, uh, branches, and that kind of stuff. But other than that, nothing to our home, that kind of stuff. Now, the people just uh, 45 minutes uh, west of us, uh, they're flooded out. Um, it, it's, it's a disaster over there. I'll try to get my camera to come back on. Um, and God bless those people. We're praying for them and uh, want to help them as much as we can. But anyway, uh, they're flooded out. Uh, there's communities over there that are just flooded. And uh, they're, you know, we... We don't have a lot of rivers, but we got a few rivers that run through the, uh, our state here, and uh, they over flooded and uh, over the banks, and uh, and it has flooded their houses. And I think most of it's the flooding down in Fort Myers, which is an hour and 20 minutes south of here, uh, southwest of here. Uh, they got a lot of wind damage, and you, you'll probably you've probably seen a lot of that. But uh, uh, but the flooding is the worst thing around here. Um, and then uh, let's see the storm come through on Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday about noon time started. Wind started picking up really, really bad. Uh, about 10 o'clock Wednesday night was about the worst I've ever seen it. And uh, we lost power at about 7:30 Wednesday night, and uh, did get not did not get power back until um, yesterday at about 7 o'clock. So that's five days, five days without electricity, running water uh hot showers uh hot food that kind of stuff uh if you guys don't know what that feels like go in there and turn your breaker off and let it sit for five days and uh try to live in your house and try to communicate work no internet no phone services um anyway um i'm complaining but i'm complaining i didn't like it but we did get our service back on last night and uh really appreciate uh the hard work of the guys and uh we really didn't have a lot of damage around here it's just uh you know the 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 wind just moved must have blown out you know i think they said at one time we had like 80 80 something percent of highlands county which is the county we live in which is about a hundred thousand people uh we're out of power and as of this morning i think they were down to about 13 percent still out but uh anyway we we ended up getting ours back last night so we're very fortunate but that was five days of, of misery and then that's the worst part is uh even riding the storm out uh wasn't really that bad i mean you just hear outside it's not like you know the, the wind's just blowing like almighty hell outside and uh, they said we had some wind gust of 90 plus mile an hour here and uh and i believe it um i mean you walk outside and it was blowing like crazy and uh but anyway, I'm really surprised we didn't get a lot more trees and, and damage than what we did here. Uh, now, there's some communities and all that, some um, house parks and uh, or trailer parks and that kind of stuff. Now, they got some damage, uh, screen rooms and that kind of stuff blown off, but uh, not, not us here. We, we live in a concrete block house here and, uh, you know, worked. Um, so anyway, didn't go to work. Uh, let's see, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Saturday got out and just started cleaning up just doing some stuff, you know hot and sweaty and all that stuff The weather was really actually really good to be honest with you. I'll take that back um, Let's see Thursday night uh, Was our first night. No with nothing really besides Wednesday, you know braving the storm and uh, It was actually pretty nice outside. So we opened all the windows in the house and turned some fans on per running by the generator and um, Wasn't that bad, but boy I turned it, it turned off hot so um, those guys that are Hardy, Wachula area, Fort Myers, uh, Punta Gorda, all that, they still have no power and I, and I pray for them. But uh, anyway, hey, listen, we're safe and uh, we went through it and I uh, don't want to go do, do that again, um, which we have before and I'll do it, we'll do it again, but golly, I don't like to because of the power issue is the biggest thing for me. Um, you know, just staying with no power and uh, everybody's cranky and no gas. Uh, you know the uh, the gas uh, stations have no power uh, all the red lights 
uh, are four-way stops and some people obey them some people don't they really be careful when you're on the highway so um, but anyway uh, listen we made it through and we're working on quads today went to work today for the first time and uh, you know it's happy to get up there so let me go catch you guys up on uh, what's going on so um, let's see the first thing you'll notice is oh we got a lot of uh, sport quads in here Kylo's four-wheeler got the shock and everything out of it redoing some stuff on that this quad here i got the cylinder head back from our buddies over at bnr he put some valves and such in it for me uh and, and i've got to get after that that is an ftr kid ftr got canceled this past weekend obviously for the storm that is my project this week this is michael trango's son dylan trango uh he races uh mike races uh 45 or 50 plus in gncc this is his son we brought it back from gncc and we're waiting on him to come get it this is a something brand new um, this is the quad that actually, this is a 2019 or 2020 that we had Ryan up at uh, BNR Motorsports build Brandon brand new. Okay, this is the one that Brandon ran uh, third overall uh, on the podium in XC2. Uh, and then, then, so what happened? So, so, so we sold it, we sold it, and then uh, anyway, got it back. Okay, uh, anyway. Uh, just got it back the other day um brandon is working on uh a-arm so 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 this is a race quad this is on monday night we bent broke an a-arm obviously the last race you guys saw and he's working on that right brandon yep so how'd you like the storm just give him an update right quick uh didn't like it <laughs> the, the problem power. was is the power yeah uh, the power thing he's been working out here you could sort of work out here but Obviously, you had no light. You had to open up all the drawers to get a little bit of light in, and uh, it wasn't that bad. But just the power sucked. No, yeah, that's, I was gonna say that's the only thing it sucked about. It's just the dang power. Yeah. No gas. No no hot food uptown. Yeah. So that darn Blackstone in there. I'm tired of cooking on that Blackstone. Oh yeah, we cooked uh, on it a lot. So this anyway, last week. grilled cheese sandwiches, that kind of stuff. So, but anyway, Brandon's uh, Brandon's putting some A arms on that. Uh, we're waiting on some bumpers from IQ uh hmf iq but we're waiting on them we may end up having to use that one again this week uh for this race uh we did get this is kylo's four-wheeler um i didn't do no videotaping because obviously i just told you about our week that is the motor that was in pieces that, that i did i did assemble it put it together um this is a also a bnr quad here uh we had bnr uh in fact they built brandon that one shipped it down here and he liked it so much we shipped this one up to him and said do this one like that one and uh and ryan did so th this is identical atv to that one um this is the one we've been working on for miss kyla got the bnr springers on it got the hauser a arms iq front bumper uh hmf exhaust you know gbc tires that kind of stuff same thing brandon runs on his uh uh can am renegades but uh got a small issue with this thing <coughs> excuse me got a small issue with this thing with saying a ccu related so we're going to probably carry that thing to uh, the boys at BNR this week at the um, the, the, the race up uh, at GSC this weekend. All right. So what's happening here? This is my project here. So what's happening? This is the this is the uh, top left A arm. This is the bottom left lower A arm. Obviously, we showed you in another video. This broke. Okay, had an accident there. Um, so. What I'm, what, and this is a brand new one we just got in today from our friends up at BNR. Robert sent these to Brandon. We appreciate that for him sending us these. These are OEM uh, uppers. But the most important thing is I'm going to be putting this gusset. You see this gusset in here? I'm going to be putting a gusset in this one. So these these things are really tough from OEM from from um, from Can Am. The problem is if you touch something, anything, it it'll fold right here. So what we do is we put this little, this small little gusset in here, just enough to keep it from, if you do bump something a little bit, it doesn't take you out of the race, but we don't want to make it so massive that it's so strong that it bends our frame. So, um, but, but we, I am going to be adding, uh, and I'll, I'll be honest with you, I'll probably cut it out of this pipe right here. I'll probably just take it, cut it there, uh, with the little zip wheel, put it on there and I'm going to weld that on there. So Brandon can mount this. So, um, so we can get these A arms on there, but, uh, anyway, uh, that's that's our project tonight is Monday. We are planning on leaving on Thursday morning So we got to get after it and uh, with no no power and yes, you know, just a, a just a messed up week and uh, You know, we'll, we'll get after it and get all this stuff done and uh, try to get some video as I'm as I'm doing it here
All right, so I went over here and I got the got the little gusset cut out here, and uh, you can see where I brushed it here and cleaned it off because I'm going to use my fancy uh, MIG welder there. Uh, Chris Wilson and Terry Hancock has bought me a brand new welder, and uh, I have not used it enough to really uh, do really good with it. So I've still been using my old one, but anyway, I got to get to that. But anyway, but basically what I do is just cut this. I cut this piece here out of the the piece of pipe. Uh, out of the piece of uh, pipe that where he where he bent the other a-arm so so then what happens is this is going to essentially um sit in here like this sort of like that and then I'll, I'll i'll try to buzz all this up something like that you know what i mean and i'll use the c-clamp here to clamp that down so uh i mean you know, just wanted to show you guys before i I welded it all we're doing is just trying to trying to stiffen up this little bend right here just a little bit all right so I got him got him all welded up here um, so got the gusset in there so so this is the piece here I just put a little bit of paint on there but that's the piece there that I added on there just in this little this little kink right here this is the back side the back side this is the left front so, so this is the back side of the uh upper a arm you can see this part's pretty straight so so this part's strong but this part right here the how they get the geometry and all that it's just got that little spot right there it's a little bit weak so um anyway and uh i don't claim to be a welder um but it, it'll stay together I promise you that um i can melt i can melt things together we have a uh we have an excellent welder in our group our our um our race team, um, Chad Pollard, uh, that guy is amazing. And uh, he, he can TIG weld and MIG weld and all that stuff. He builds um, fuel tanks and that kind of stuff. Probably some of the ones you guys got in your back of your pickup trucks. Um, you know, toolboxes and that kind of stuff uh, out of aluminum. So that's what his business is. He, he, he owns that business and uh, ships them all over the world and country. And uh, But anyway, stays busy all the time, but uh, he is the welder but something like that we're not going to get him involved in the weld we just weld that up it just just mig weld it and uh stay together but brandon is um oh there's miss kyla we haven't Hello. seen kyla this afternoon nope so did you figure out something brandon or you're trying to do another one yeah i got one here all right so what's happened is is brandon uh at the last at the last race uh he, he broke up it also split the boot we didn't realize that and you know, when we start to put everything together but you can see it split a little bit right there so we're out of time and don't have one we got a used one there but he, we don't want to put that using on there the, these are fairly new axles here all it did is just cut the boot it looked like something got against it just cut it so the axle itself is okay but um so what brandon is doing now is he's going to take the boot off the used axle and put on the the new axle. All right, so what you think we're done for tonight brandon we're out of uh so we need to go get some of these band clamps here um so we can put around the new boot and also you're holding a spark plug there we've got to get a spark plug right yep so spark plug for that the yfz 450 there so um anyway uh kind of turn that turn that down my telephone so um but i'm pretty much tired we got to go in um Got to get us a spark plug and these two band clamps tomorrow and then um also we discovered too that the heim joints um uh, over here on these these arms here um they've got a little bit of movement in them so we're gonna uh we got some new ones at the cart shop so we're gonna re replace all those there's you know the, the, these are the lower a arms that we're going to be putting on on this renegade here but we're going to go ahead and replace those those uh Time. So, uh, so what do you think, Brandon? Exhausted already? When you get a haircut again, you're back to getting needing a haircut again. At some point, that's the. Is plan. it time? Yeah, it's getting about that time. If it seems like time just runs into it's one. It's gonna be falling out here soon. <laughs> All the stress. I'm tired. Oh, you got Lizzie down there. Look at her. Hey, girl. What are you doing? They haven't seen you in a while. Look at this girl. Boom. Look at that girl. This is Lizzie. This is Brandon and uh, Brandon and Kata's dog. She runs after everything in the shop. Oh boy! You threw it, Brandon. She put the brakes on, didn't, couldn't stop. All right, so we're gonna pretty much get out of here. Nobody wants to talk, right? We're Everybody's tired. all. And then uh, Kyla, she's over there hiding. 
Brandon's tired. I'm tired. Uh, we've had a long week, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, when we got back from the race at uh, the Burr Oak race, uh, obviously when we got back, we were pretty much prepping for the storm and getting prepared for that. Went two days, we worked two days at work and then uh, it was like a madhouse in town. Everybody, you know, going and buying bread and gas and um, ice, uh, you know, they thought the world was coming to an end. And uh, so anyway, just uh, the traffic and then they closed Highway 75 um, over there because they was under, it was underwater down in Fort Myers area. So it sent all the traffic down US 27, which US 27 is right here only about three miles up the road here. And so we commute on that and uh, my goodness at the traffic. But anyway, all right, so I'm gonna let you guys ride out and uh, we'll catch you guys back tomorrow afternoon. And uh, maybe we'll uh, get the Heim joints and some items for this thing tomorrow. So Brandon can get, 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 it, stuff fixed. get it all put together and fixed. So he could race this weekend. Um, uh, we have options if that doesn't if this doesn't happen, but we're we're, we're going to get this fixed. Yeah, you know, like like always, you know what I mean. It's just right now it seems devastating because everything's you know everything around us. We're exhausted, and uh, so anyway, we'll get after it tomorrow. As always, guys, I appreciate you watching the videos. Thank you so much.